Okay, here's our second chapter. We're going to do chapter 11 this time, and chapter 11 is all about probability. Now, this is probably one of the hardest chapters that we do in this class, so be prepared for that. Make sure that you're watching the videos, uh, that you're re-watching re the videos if you need to, that you're asking lots of good questions as soon as they come up, um, and that you're doing lots of extra practice to make sure that you understand this chapter, because it's a little bit challenging in certain parts, okay? Uh, but we're going to start just like we did last chapter, by printing off the blank chapter 11 notes packet. You're going to watch the videos for each section just like before. Remember, stop replay, pause, whatever you need to do to make sure that you understand the concepts in each section. We're going to start off kind of slow in 11.1, 11.2, and 11.3, uh, but what we're going to do is get a little bit more complicated after that because we're going to start adding those all together and then adding probability. So what I've done in this chapter especially is I've stopped after the three sections, the first three sections, 11.1, 11.2, and 11.3, and I've made an extra practice worksheet covering those three sections. So we can make sure that we get a good solid foundation built before we move on to the other sections that are a little bit harder. So I really suggest that you print off the worksheet, that you practice the three sections, and then you can check your work with the answer key here before moving on to 11.4 and the other sections. Then we have 11.4's videos, 11.5, and 11.5 is a little bit tricky, so I've also made an extra practice worksheet for 11.5. So in addition to doing your homework on my math lab, I suggest that you print off this 11.5 practice worksheet and do those problems also, checking your work with the answer key when you're finished. We have 11.6, and I've also made an extra practice problem for what we call odds problems in that section. I suggest you do that and check your answers there. So you can see in this chapter that we not only have the homework in my math lab, that I've created a, a lot of extra practice worksheets because this chapter is kind of challenging, and practicing each kind of idea before we move on to the next one. Okay, we have 11.8, that's our last section in this chapter, and then I've even give you, given you some more uh, practice in 11.5, because that section's kind of hard. What that section does is it combines 1 through 4 in addition to number 5 section. Uh, so it kind of combines a whole bunch of stuff into one, so it's really important that you understand those concepts. So I have another practice uh, worksheet for 11.5 along with the answer key there. Just like in Chapter 2, once you are finished completing all of the notes for Chapter 11, you're going to submit a picture of your completed notes here under this assignment so I can give you credit for doing the uh, notes with us. You're going to take your Chapter 11 test um, before it is due. Remember, you can have one 3 by 5 note card. You can write on the front, on the back. I don't care what you write on it, but only one 3 by 5 note card. And then make sure that you have your calculator with you, right? That's really important in this chapter to have your calculator. You're also going to, just like before, you're going to, as you have your, um, as you take your chapter 11 test, you're going to write down all of your work. Now, whether that's a setup and then use your calculator to get a final answer, I need to see what you're doing so I can give you full credit for the ones that you got right and partial credit for the ones that you got wrong. So it's really, really important that you show clearly all of your work for chapter 11 test. You're going to take a picture of that as soon as you're done with the test, and you're going to submit that underneath the uh, Chapter 11 work assignment so I can grade your test um, accurately. Okay? All right, like I said, this chapter is kind of challenging, so please start from day one, making sure that you understand everything. Make sure you do the homework for each section. Make sure you practice with those extra practice worksheets as you go throughout this chapter. And then, as always, please reach out to me if you have any questions or need anything. Okay? All right.